hello and welcome back to another video um i'm gonna be shooting with this Hasselblad today uh i no longer have access to the stores in about three weeks so i'm basically going to try and use as many uh cameras as i can that i'm not gonna have access to anymore and i've never used a ha actually i've used a Hasselblad once before and i just took some really mediocre photos so this time i want to take some decent photos at least or at least try and jen is gonna be my lovely model this is jen She's in every single video ever. So yeah, we're, we're just at like a reservoir right now and I thought it'd be quite nice to get some photos, so yeah. So this video was meant to be shot entirely outside, but I completely forgot to give some context to a few things. So I thought I'd just jump in here quickly and tell you some things about this video. So the photos that I get in this video are completely different to what I usually do. I'm usually shooting like more natural environmental sort of documentary portraits. I don't really know what you would call my photography style, but it definitely isn't what I do in this video. In this video, I'm pretty much just shooting like a fashion-y, artistic sort of thing. I don't know what you would call it. I just wanted to try something completely different while using a camera that I haven't used before so I can get some interesting portraits. So the photos in this video aren't exactly amazing. There is one which I really, really like, but other than that, they're a bit Nah, I can't lie, so just brace yourself. But there's also one more thing that I want to quickly touch on, and that is that we go to a different location just after this clip is going to be over, but I completely forgot to like mention it properly. All I said was, we're now in a new location because that location was bad. And basically, I tried to take some portraits and uh, I just couldn't get anything right. And this just was not a day for me to take photos. I just wasn't in the right mood. I was just a bit teasy, I can't lie, the whole video, I'm just a bit like, uh, and I just want to go home, and um, yeah, I, I end up stepping in a bit of mud um, in my new Converse, and I was just like, Ugh. and uh, as you will see throughout this video, things just get worse and worse, like it really just wasn't my day, but anyway, I'll let you get back to the video right now. Right, so, first location was a bit sh so me and Jen are now in a completely different location. I really, really struggled in the first location. So we've now just come to a random field in the middle of nowhere. It looks quite nice. I think I want to get like a portrait of Jen stood in her dress in the field, because I think it looks quite nice. The light is going from like quite harsh to quite soft because the clouds are just, as Jen said, aeroplane-y. So it's, it's a bit difficult. Right, first photo. 5.6, 500, 3, 2, 1. There we go. Oh wait, do I have to wind on the film as well? This does not seem right. I've only taken one photo and it's on its third frame. I've wasted this roll. There you go, the whole, the whole roll has wound through. But, but, but right, basically, I wound it until I saw a one, because that's what you're meant to do. And then I took a photo, wound it on, and it said three. So then I was like, okay, well that's a bit weird. Let me wind it on until it stops. And then when I wound it on, it then said eight. <sighs> so I'm having to load another roll because uh, the camera just kept on winding for some reason. It just would not stop winding. So I went through the whole roll because it just didn't, it didn't stop. Can I just wind this and it will wind? No. So basically last time, I'm not sure if I'm doing this wrong, but last time I wound this until it said one and it stopped. So we'll try and do that again. It's really stiff for some reason. There you go, one, and it stops. So then I took a photo and then wound the mirror on. And when I'd done that, it then said free on the counter, even though I hadn't wound that on. So I'm assuming that it wound this on, but then for some reason it said free instead of two. I don't know what's happened, but I'm gonna have to retake that photo again just to make sure that it is okay. So if I get you in the same position again, I'm gonna risk it and just shoot it wide open and see what happens. Right, three, two, one. There we go. Now I took the photo. Do I wind this on? Can't be wound on. So I wind this on. Okay, yeah, last time it just didn't work then. Last time it was just broken because now it's actually worked. How fun. Can the wind stop please? That I'm just, I really want you to stop because you're being kind of annoying now. I mean, I could do a slower shot for you to make it look kind of cool. Try and do a windy, windy slew shot of speed one. Three, two, one. I don't think it's windy enough, to be honest. To be fair, that looks kind of cool. Yeah. I'm just getting a normal one of you like that. But like from further back. 
Can you look off to the side? Right, three, two, one. And there you go. <laughs> that actually might be a really cool photo. I'm hoping it is. Oh yeah, do that. That's quite nice. Yeah. That actually looks really nice. Wow. Three, two, one. That looks really nice. Right, so I have taken four photos. Uh, this roll is working. I think the last one just broke because when I wound on this one, instead of going to three and then continuously winding forever and ever and ever, this one went to two and stayed there. So I think the last roll just didn't work. Uh, me and Jen are now, oh, she's dying in the background. Sorry, my toes are really hurt. Oh, <laughs> well, I better go do this photo quickly then, so. I want you like, like that and then look in there. Yeah, just like that. All right, three, two, one. I reckon that's gonna be really nice. Um, so, wait, turn sideways, fully sideways that way. And then I kind of want your dress to be quite flowy. Right, three, two, one. And that's pretty much all the footage that I have from being outside. I did actually record more, but it's just not the greatest footage as I didn't really move the camera and we moved to a different location. Not like, like location completely, but we moved to a different place. So it, the camera work is kind of terrible and it's also quite overexposed because I must have knocked one of the settings. So yeah, it's just not the best footage. But in that footage, I took a few more photos that you can see here. Uh, I'm really not the biggest fan of them. I find them quite boring. And uh, then Jen also took a portrait of me here. She really struggled taking this portrait. It's pretty much any type that she uses a waist level finder camera. She just struggles and absolutely hates it, but she done quite well. But I thought I'd just wrap up this video by giving you some thoughts I've had on this Hasselblad as uh, I was very mean to it in the video. But like I said, I think I was just having a bad day. And while I still don't enjoy the camera as much as I was hoping to, it's definitely not as bad as I was making it out to be in the video. The camera feels nice to use, the shutter's nice, everything about it is just nice. I think the one that I used was a bit faulty as obviously my roll got eaten up the first time I tried to use it and then also the camera just wasn't shooting every now and again on some photos and the winding was a bit weird and also the shutter speed and the aperture dial was just a bit strange. So yeah, I think if I got a camera that was just like fully working and properly working and you know had no faults i think i'd enjoy it a lot more but from what i used back then uh which is a few days ago at this point i really didn't like it i just genuinely really didn't like that camera and i actually said in a bit of very overexposed footage uh that i would just probably never use one again and if i'm being honest i don't think i will i can't see myself using it for any reason in fact, I can't really see myself using any more film cameras for any reason apart from my 4x5, but even then, I'm not really using that much these days as uh, I just don't need to. I've got my GFX, which does everything that I needed to do. So I think these videos that I'm doing about gear that I'm no longer going to be able to use at uni will probably just be me like progressively more and more hating film photography, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm definitely not going to like hate it, but I think just disliking it more and more because it's just not what I need anymore and that's sad to say, but I just much prefer using my X-T4 or my GFX or just any digital camera really. I think the only film camera that I still really enjoy using is my Olympus Mew and that's because it's just faultless, it's easy to use and it's quick but every other film camera that I use is a bit slower, you have to think about it more, and you especially have to think about like your shots more because it's costing money. And obviously the Mew costs money, but I'm not using it for serious reasons, so it is just sort of like a, just a point and shoot, it's just a fun camera to use. But yeah, overall, not the biggest fan of the Hasselblad. I was hoping that I'd like it more than I did. I only like this one photo here, and it, while it is a really nice photo, I was hoping to have more, but you know, that's just how things go sometimes. But anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.